After requesting for the pin for four times and you don't get it, you're going to get demonetized. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can get your Google AdSense pin down to Nigeria. This is my Google AdSense pin. And I'm going to share with you the whole process on how you can get yours seamlessly down to Nigeria. Also, if you cannot um, get this pin, I'm going to tell you what to do to still verify your AdSense account without this okay now if this is what you're here for please do also like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get started yeah. as we all know to get monetized on youtube you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours and after you've achieved that the next thing to do is to apply for monetization youtube is not just going to monetize you have to apply for monetization and there are three steps involved in getting monetized and the first step is to um accept the terms and conditions and the second step is to link your adsense account now if you don't have an adsense account youtube is going to show you um step by step process on how to create a new adsense account and it's actually a very seamless process so once you have done that i actually had problem linking an adsense account to my youtube channel it took them a month to link mine but that is a story for another day so after that the thought process is then just accepting you and once you've gotten monetized the next thing is to make your first ten dollars once you've made your first ten dollars they're going to send you an email now once you go to that email you're going to go straight to your adsense account to verify two things your identity verification and your address verification if you're in Nigeria for your identity verification, you need either your international passport, your Nigerian passport, or your driver's license, or your PVC, or that's your voter's card, or your national identity card. Now, for national identity card, they do not accept that paper one. That paper one that most of us have, we don't accept it. It has to be in the plastic form. Once you're taking a picture of the ID card you're using, make sure that the four sides of that id card is showing like the four sides you should not copy it or try to hide anything because they will reject it and you have just three attempts okay so make sure that the four sides of the card is showing also make sure that your name is showing and the picture there is very visible if you don't have any of this means of identification i'm going to make a video on what to do to still get verified to still get your adsense account verified okay now after that once you've done that that process just takes like two seconds and they will accept it if it is legit of course and then the next thing to do is to verify your address and you have to input your address and your postal code and when you're inputting your postal code make sure that it is the correct postal code next to you google it if you don't know your postal code google it if you're not still sure go to the post office and ask them what their postal code is so that you will not make any mistake because that is usually one of the problems that causes people not to get this adsense pin to their location okay so make sure your postal code is correct make sure your address is correct i forgot to say something make sure that the identity card you're using the name on the means of identification you're using is the same with the name that you put on the adsense account okay but if it's not the same they're going to reject it so make sure that the name on the adsense account is the same with the name on the means of identification you're using because you can also use someone else's to do this now once you've gone to your address verification once you've, you're done with that they're going to tell you that they have sent the pin to your location and it's going to take three weeks to arrive after three weeks, I went to the post office, checked if mine was there. They gave me a lot of this to check through. And I did not see mine. So I went back home, clicked on the send button, came back again after another three weeks. I still did not see mine. Clicked on the send button again, came back again. I did not see mine. And the person that attended to me then told me to write down my number in case I get it so that in case they get it so that they will call me. Please. Bear it in mind that this thing does not bear your phone number. Okay, it doesn't come with your phone number, just your name, your address, the postal code, and your state, your city and state, and then Nigeria if you're in Nigeria. It does not bear your phone number. So they won't have any means of 
um, contacting you, you have to go there and give them your phone number. So I gave them my phone number and told them to call me if they should get it. I wrote down the name that they will see on the AdSense um, paper and they called me once it arrived. It took two months for me to get this and I got two of these, probably the first and the second one. It took a lot of time for them to send this down to my state. Now, if you're in somewhere like Lagos, it might take you like three weeks or a month, but it took me two months to get mine. Now, when they called me, I went there, collected the pin. Like I said, they gave me two of these. This one is unopened, but the one I used is already opened. I got it and I inserted the pin. I told them that if any other one should come, that they should disregard it, but I've already um, clicked on the resend button four times. And you can only click on the resend button four times. You can only request for the pin four times and I've already done that. After requesting for the pin for four times and you don't get it and you don't put in your any number you get, you're going to get demonetized. So when I came back after getting the paper, I bought the first one and I included the pin that I saw there and it told me that my address was verified. And now that after that, I had to now put in my bank details, my bank, domiciliary bank details, you have to put the domiciliary account there so that they can pay you your money. If you've exceeded the amount of times you can request for the pin, which is four times, and you have not gotten that AdSense paper, I'm going to show you what to do to actually get your pin and verify your address in your Google AdSense account. If you haven't gotten your AdSense pin and you've requested for it four times, which is the limit, all you have to do is to go to your AdSense account and click on verification check it is under payment mine is showing completed because i have verified my address but if yours is not verified it's going to say needs attention the next thing you have to do is to click on the learn more button once you've done that this page is going to pop up scroll down and you're going to see pin troubleshooter once you see pin troubleshooter click on it and the prompt is going to pop up First thing they're going to ask you to do is to confirm your email. If that is your correct email, the email you use in opening the AdSense account, click on yes. If it is not, you click on no and change it. The next one is to confirm if your PIN has arrived. Obviously, it has not. So you click on no and click on continue. The next thing you will see is the contact support team and under it, you're going to see a contact form. Like I said, you must have requested for the pin four times before this will show for you. Now click the contact form and this is what you're going to see. Write in the name, input the name that you used in registering for the AdSense account and also input your publisher ID. When you scroll down, you're going to see where they tell you to attach a file. If you're in Nigeria, it's best to use your driver's license here because it has your address, but you can also use your bank statement. Now, obviously, you should have the picture of this form or this means of identification on your phone. So when you click on choose files, you're going to add it and then you click on submit. This process will be done in under five minutes and you'll be verified if your ID card is eligible. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do also like this video and subscribe to my channel to join the family now. Bye!